A popular Toronto restaurant owner is being remembered tonight. Merrick Owen Aries was found shot to death on a beach in Jamaica. I'm still in shock. I, I still don't believe the news, but I'm, I'm, deep, I'm deeply saddened. At Union Station, and all the people say, what's wrong, what's wrong, what's wrong, what's wrong? And I couldn't answer them. I do sleep on, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. All my train missed me because I was so nervous. I was shaky. My foot was weak. I couldn't believe it. But you have to say for yourself. What's for dinner? What's going on here? What's that stink? What's this for? What time is it? What's that? Elementary, my dear Watson. Hey there, my true crime aficionados. Welcome back to Watson's World. I'm Kevin Watson. And we've got a story today that's more than just about the act itself. It's about community ties, heartaches, and those shocks that hit you right in the gut. We're venturing deep into the life and times of Merrick Aries. So let's buckle up and keep our hearts open. Remember, true crime can have more layers than a lasagna. Imagine the heart of Toronto, humming with life, streets bursting with tales we have yet to hear. Right in the midst of this Canadian hustle and bustle, there's this quirky spot, the diner's corner. It's that kind of place you take your friend to and say, you've got to try this. But our story isn't just about delightful Jamaican dishes. It's about a mystery that shook the city to its core. The Diner's Corner isn't just a pit stop. It's a culinary journey. It's where you can get a little piece of Jamaica without hopping on a plane, thanks to the dynamic Aries brothers, Merrick and Antovin. Today though, our spotlight is on Merrick Aries, who brought a slice of Jamaican sunshine to Chile, Canada. And oh boy, it's chilly here right now. We're just in October. Well, today is October 29 and it's snowing outside. Now imagine a young lad named Merrick in Jamaica trying to get a better look over the kitchen counter, standing tippy toed on a stool. His grandparents' kitchen was his playground, surrounded by aromas of rich spices and age-old Jamaican recipes. Young Merrick wasn't just taking notes, he was being entrusted with family traditions. But life's not always a straight line. By now, many of us may have already realized this, right? After Merrick sharpened his culinary instincts at the renowned Hart NSTA Trust in Jamaica, he had his heart set on the Great White North, Canada. His journey zigzagged through corporate giants such as McDonald's, Rogers, CBC, Walmart, etc. Amidst those office cubicles and business meetings, Merrick always heard the echoes of the kitchen, calling him back. And boy, we are grateful he listened. All right, let's backtrack a little bit here, guys. Let us look on Merrick's journey a bit more. Picture this, Merrick standing at life's crossroads. On one side, there is the glittering promise of corporate success with all its trimmings. But on the other, the simmering passion of his culinary dreams threatening to be lost beneath mounds of paperwork and stiff office suits. You see, Merrick wasn't just your regular Joe. He was a man with a vision, with the courage of a lion. He took a leap of faith, chasing the aroma of his true passion. Thus, folks, the legendary The Diner's Corner sprang to life. Imagine a place where the fiery taste of jerk chicken dances with the comforting embrace of sweet potato pudding. 
Oh my God. I have not had sweet potato pudding in quite some time. Pure magic. But as the old saying goes, every silver lining has a cloud. As Merrick soared to gastronomic heights, shadows from his past started lurking, threatening to rain on his parade. His destiny, it seemed, was marinated not just in secret spices, but also in the bitter tang of unforeseen tragedy. Now here's where things get heavy. Life, my friends, has a quirky sense of humor. Merrick, with a heavy heart, found himself back in Jamaica for his sister's funeral, a homecoming mixed with sorrow. Landing in Jamaica on October 14, 2023, he planned to return to the maple syrup-infused embrace of Canada by the end of the month. But life had other plans. On an otherwise regular October 24th morning, someone walking by Welcome Beach in Maypen, Clarendon, got the shock of their life. There in stark contrast to Jamaica's golden sunshine was Merrick's lifeless body lying in the sand with his pants down, looking nothing like the vibrant chef we would come to know. Dressed in a simple white t-shirt and blue jeans, he lay partially decomposed, a bleak display that seemed ripped from a sinister crime drama. Nearby his great rental Honda motor vehicle sat as a silent witness, its steel exterior tarnished by the grim circumstances. The man who had once delighted in crafting culinary masterpieces, had met a horrific end. His life had been extinguished with rootless efficiency as he bore the scars of multiple gunshot wounds to the head and upper body. It was a brutal finale to a life that had been seasoned with flavor and dreams. Now, the Jamaican police, especially those from the Clarendon Division, have a real puzzle on their hands. They need to unravel what went down with Merrick. Was it just a sad case of being in the wrong place at the wrong time? Maybe a robbery gone wrong? Or was there a darker layer hidden deep, much like the secret spice in Grandma's recipe? And speaking of secrets, eyes are now on Salt River, an area with a reputation for harboring criminal secrets and whispers. As a matter of fact, the area where Merrick's body was found is known for its drug problems. Suspicion lingers in the air and the quest for justice begins to take on a disturbing hue as the search for truth gains momentum. Things are starting to look pretty bleaky. Now here's something else. In the aftermath of Merrick's tragic passing, there has been significant chatter and conjecture about his personal life, particularly speculations regarding his sexuality have surfaced and recent post by two notable entities from Toronto's LGBTQ2SL plus community seem to offer clarity on the matter. Pride Toronto, a renowned LGBTQ2SL plus organization, shared a touching tribute. Pride Toronto is saddened by the passing of Merrick Ares. As co-owner of the Diner's Corner, Merrick has blessed the Blackorama stage with delicious Caribbean food for many years. Merrick will truly be missed. Our thoughts are with Merrick's family during this difficult time. 
Similarly, the 519's Black Collective, which champions black queer issues, spend a heartfelt message. The 519's Black Collective mourns the devastating and tragic loss of community entrepreneur, leader, partner, and friend, Merrick Owen Aries. He was co-owner of At The Diner's Corner, a favorite of the 519 known for its Caribbean fear. Merrick's exceptional food was paired with their charm and kindness. Merrick's life was cut short due to violence. The untimely and violent deaths of our community members is all too familiar hurt, the pain of which never lessens. We deeply feel the loss of a beloved black queer community member and leader. Our care, respect, and heart go to Merrick's loved ones, family, and all those who share in his grief. Now, peeps, while Jamaica has come a long way in embracing the LGBTQ2SL plus community, the chatter around Merrick's death possibly tied to his sexuality does raise eyebrows. Whatever the cause, the sheer pain of losing someone so vibrant, so full of life, is undeniable. When we zoom in on Merrick's story, there's so much we still need to understand. It's all in the details, and every little piece matters. So, with Merrick's short trip to Jamaica in mind, you got to wonder, who was he hanging out with? Did he stick to his plans, or did he pull a few unexpected moves? Any surprise meetups or sudden trips could be the puzzle pieces we're missing. And then there's the phone. Any odd numbers or weird text in the days leading up to this tragic incident? A deep dive into his call logs might just reveal something we didn't expect. And that Honda motor vehicle rented. Could someone have been tracking him because of it? Now we all know that Jamaica got its own unique vibe going on, right? People might be a bit tight-lipped with the police. But you know how the local grapevine works, right? Sometimes the juiciest bits of info come from casual chit-chat. So to crack this Merrick mystery, we got to look at both the tiny details and the big pictures. Mesh them together and we might just inch closer to the truth, ensuring justice sees the light of day. Our hearts go out to everyone mourning Merrick. It's times like these when we all got to stand together. If anyone knows something, Anything about what went down, please let the police know. Even the smallest hint could be the game changer. If you are not comfortable speaking to the police, you can always email me at thenoblecop at gmail.com to share this information and I will pass it on to the police. All right, folks, that's it for today's deep dive. If you thought that this was an eye-opener and you're itching for more, do me a solid. Smash that like button and get your friends in on this. Don't want to miss the next episode. You know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. Check me out on Instagram, Facebook and X at The Noble Cop. Got some info, as I said before or just want to chat, ping me at thenoblecop at gmail.com. Thanks for hanging with me. Let's keep exploring these mysteries together. Until our next rendezvous, stay on your toes and keep those antennas up. Peace out.